Hello and welcome. Uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about how I'm picking cars, uh, or basically before I buy, decide to buy a car, what I'm looking at. And here is a list of cars that I was uh, looking at before buying. And specifically, I got interested into this Mercedes. S class uh, and the main interest that I got out of that because it was the S sixty five so that means it's the V twelve by turbo uh, AMG model and for whatever reason the internet is really slow but let's wait a little bit so. Actually, the first thing uh, what I look at is uh, since I'm it's not the first time that I'm been here. My main and most important part is of course the pictures. Then I'm looking at okay, what is the damage? Uh, what is the mileage? Does the vehicle start? All the other information. Then I check the VIN. First thing, of course, that I always do is I Google the win and try to check. That is interesting. Uh, <laughs> but basically, I try to open the win decoders. Uh, I try to just check what are the findings out of the win and actually. Interestingly, it doesn't find anything based on the win code. That helps me a little bit because then it means that most likely it's the first uh, record that I got. Uh, this is just the best guess because uh, ideally you should always get a Carfax report before you buy such a car. Now I want to understand actually what is the uh, interesting information about the car, uh, what are the dates, what is the uh, features that it came with, and for example I see that it's calcium white, exclusive leather brown, that is all from the VIN number, uh, it's a 65 AMG, so those things match, which is really good. Also I most of the time we view what is the information about the uh, all features that were there the interesting actually thing that I see is that even though it says the AMG 20 spoke wheels uh, I think that when I was looking at the car, it wasn't without those wheels. I don't think that these are the original wheels. But let me check. So, other than that, everything is quite okay. So, then now it's time to just look into the pictures. So, let's look into all the pictures. And let's go through what do we see? You can always try to zoom in because you can see it worked quite well. So immediately I can see that there is damage here. And actually if I would look at that I see that of course the bonnet is bent and also there is this damage here. The interesting part is that there is actually no damage in the front bumper rail which is quite weird or maybe even good because that means then the, the only the top is got hit and therefore of course the bumper bottom is looking quite good you can see that there is this uh, latch V12 by turbo 
that's of course positive that we will start to think that they are original. Let me check a little bit of the information because some things are looking weird for me. It's always good to open uh, a reference site so that actually you can um, check the information uh, directly at the page of how the car should look like and what they always look and Google does that magic I can also you in that particular color and I can see this looks like quite an original one okay I see that this actually the same because the side script actually was raising questions for me and actually these should have been the original wheels that the car should have come in and the sad news is that they are not but, but that's okay I will do the lateral view so the picture fits okay uh, maybe these are winter wheels or whatsoever of course the headlight is missing the bumper is original good condition the other side okay the door definitely looks like a different color but that's definitely not part of the same damage that is okay this is damaged the bumper but you can also see that it's only the top that has been damaged so therefore it's okay no issues there <laughs> you can see there's this lip this is doesn't look original but if you look at the i wonder if it's even possible to find original cars that haven't been modified but you can see at least that it looks very similar you can see that it has been blacked out a little bit but definitely not original ones because the original ones would have been blacked out also around the uh, windows, side windows so that's not, not okay let me check I think I saw here a picture of a white one, this one that I was looking after Okay, so actually the side looks okay, the back looks okay, nothing interesting there. This side also the same. It sits a little bit low so the suspension either it's lower or just maybe some suspension damage or whatsoever. Let me check in the inside. Okay, this is something wrong here. Immediately you can see that the ashtray has some kind of either it has been uh, taken out or something has been done here. This is also something has been done. Now maybe the keys are here. That's a good question. And this is a traditional as class I say this. I mean this is the armrest looks crap. It's always really, really badly done, or it's worn off really fast. Okay, now this is the engine compartment. Well, to my knowledge, the bottom, what I can see, looks really good. Nothing major there. I see that the front fender has been bent here, so it's interesting damage here. No lights, so. I wonder how much the lights have been hit. Let me check the engine bay area to compare it. So this is the V8, so that's definitely not it. This is the ESL. 
won't be so easy to find actually the S65, right? So this is the S65. Let me just view the image in a bigger picture. Okay. Yeah, as I can see. This whole front is out. This tank is still there. This wasn't hit. Sadly, the top cover is taken. That's not great. And then this side, this is still here. This tank is still here. So, well, not actually a big damage. The radiator is toast, but. That's quite normal, right? The upper layer part here is okay. The sides look good. Nothing to actually come in there. 110,000 miles. That's quite a lot. But then again, this is just the... Okay. So now here. These look like me. Also, I feel this is not a long wheelbase, so that's also one thing that I actually like. Again, about the engine. I think it looks quite good. Okay, this is a big hole in it. I don't have any idea what this is, but that's actually not a big problem in itself. What it would take to fix this? That's a good question, actually. And it's more interesting that none of the airbags have been blown, or at least none that you could see. So it's even interesting how was then how was it hit in this way? Oh, so basically the. This is the air conditioning radiator that has been torn apart. Of course, the other one is also out. Okay. It looks weird because it's like the bonnet looks so badly bent. But actually, but not as bad as this. I can see that it is the whole thing. I think actually it is quite a good condition, if you would think of it. Let me come back to it. The... bad parts of it actually is that you don't see the... what was the... features that it had. And that would be my main headache currently because if I think of it what I want is mainly to understand what would uh, like a good example would be does it have this tronic? Plus, are not destroying at all. Well, it's like a 65 AMG it should be like the best thing ever, right? But uh, nothing else. Okay. Interestingly, this is this has only the five-speed transmission because no other transmission could handle the torque that the engine made. But okay, it has the tire pressure monitor. It has uh, 
some kind of one seat climate control, exclusive leather trim, electric roller bind, blah blah blah. Sips of headlamp, clean different night view assist. Okay, it has night vision, that's great. Corner illumination, server, call site wide, that's it. Band and uh, pieces wood for walnuts, that's good. And this styling package DVD, heated internet, and then more trunk locking. Keyless, well, it should have keyless, of course. I know that I don't get this seven, yeah, but it doesn't look like a really long one. Looks like the standard one. Hmm. One day. Six liter V12 by turbo. That does sound nice. Okay, but I'm actually missing. This tonic, which would be actually weird, but actually, other than that, I think it looks quite okay, definitely viable. I wonder how much it will cost actually, but I think it will be a costly thing, but we will see. Nobody knows. 